Hi YouTubers, this is part three of the drain water tap and removing the water tank and this will be refitting the tank back on the van. Now I'd like to say I have a lot of respect for full time van lifers, especially to have an old motorhome in terms of keeping it going, you know basic things like oil change, engine service and things like that. They may take it to a garage but if they do it themselves well thumbs up to you guys really really thumbs up my simple job was to replace the drain tap on the drinking water tank because you drain it down in really bad weather to stop it from freezing because my van isn't winterized it's an old talbot express uh, auto sleeper 28 29 years old and um, I'm finding even simple jobs are troublesome because one thing leads to another and because the tank tap broke the nut was on the inside the tank had to come out the tank straps had almost rusted through the wood underneath that supported the tank was actually rotten or rotted so I'm replacing that and that's sitting out there and a piece of wood I had to cut locally and then I'm using some old paint just to give it some protection. The metal straps had rusted out. I had to go and source the steel from a local supplies, Corby Steel. I then had to shape it, which took a lot of doing with a vice and a hammer. I then had to use a pillar drill to drill the holes because of the thickness. I then had to get J bolts to replace the ones that were almost rusted well they were rusted and I had to snap them off to get it off the vehicle so I had to get those through the post because nobody got them locally the right length now then I store my van about three or four miles from home so it means when I go down to refit the tank because I can't easily bring the van here to do it it means I've got to take a lot of tools. I've got to take spanners, socket sets, I've got to take wire crimps, wire cutters, um, what else? Hose clamps, uh, cable ties, the tank itself, the brackets, and um, the wood, and the jack so I can jack it up to, to put the tank back on the vehicle. It's easy with the jack, some, some rags. It's just a blooming nightmare, you know, to do work on vans. So how people manage to do them when they're on the road, unless they've got friends that can call on with workshops, I don't know. But um, this is sort of the very beginning of part three, and the rest of it will be actually fitting the tank back on the van. I'm down the storage facility again. Herb's sitting there. That's the water tank I've got to fit back today. The inlet pipe hasn't arrived, it should have been on 48 hours delivery and it hasn't come. So I'm going to fit the tank and then have to fit the, the pipe uh, another time. But I'm going to get the tank hung up in here. So what I'm going to do is I've got to, um, what's the word, put the, the rear J bolts in first. I'll try and video that as I'm doing it. These are the twisted top ones. There you go. That's one. That's why the top is shaped different to the others. And they hang in the chassis. Right, that, that's those two, and the other two go in there. This really is a two-man job, and what I've done, I've got it resting on the water container at the moment. Ironically, I'm going to try and put one bracket up, which is not easy. Let's get the mat. You need something to lean on and um, kneel on. <coughs> okay, that's the bracket, and. Uh, Hanging down. Let's see if I can push that bracket up. I've got some nuts here in my hand, there's some washers. Okay. Go on, get this 
see it all. There we go. What an absolute pig that was to fit. You need two people to do it. Uh, anyway, it's in. Some of the bolts were too long. Some were too short. So I've got a mixture of a long threaded one and a short threaded one and a... You know. Anyway, it's on. And... Uh, going to do the electrics and then connect the pipes. I've stripped them back with a pair of cutters. It's not polarised as far as I can make out on the sensor. This is the sensor for the water level. Put the camera there. They're not polarised. There is two different colours. There's a white and a black wire here but on the sender unit both wires are the same colour so they're gonna assume they're the same connect same polarity or not polarised I should say let's make sure that's one and these are like bullet connectors Hopefully that will go in there. And it won't. I always want that sort of awkward bloody connector. That's it. And these go in here. That can go in there. And that one can go in there. And these will be actually run alongside the the pipe. This thick pipe here, which is the tank filler. This is the one I've got to replace because it's not a food safe pipe but I've got to put something back on you know this one here going onto the filler I've got to put something on there because very simple and the muck will get in it until the new pipe arrives but it hasn't arrived as yet which is not so good okay, pipe clip turn it round so the screwed off and get at it That's it. and I put it on the wrong way just to go that that way around so I can get the screw on, on it. I'll have to move the camera, sorry guys, it's in the way. Okay, that hose is on, you can see the cable here. That will be connected with some tie routes around the filler. This is the 
pipe to the pump and I made this extension because simple reason it's not long enough so that will go on here like that and then this will go on there with the clips Undo that hose. I've got to cut a piece of this off. To make a, that's what it is underneath. I've just got to put some nylon ties for the electrical connectors here, and uh, that should be okay. Apart from the heater wires. For the, which are dangling, which I'm going to just tidy up and hook up as well. <laughs> Tie wraps. But I'm going to put some water in now to see if it holds water. Okay, so if you've got any water in the tank, put that on, press that. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Right, let's test the pump. The pump hasn't run for a while. Okay, move stuff out of the sink. Put that over there. Put the pump on. Power on. Bit of air in the pipe, but that seems to work. So pump off, pump off. Put that back in there. That's okay. Cable ties now. A little drip on the input to the tank, but that's expected because it's that old horrible plastic pipe. And wait for the new stuff to arrive. All right, cable clips now. Got another small job I've got to do while I'm down the van. Jan made me this wood spirit for my birthday. I'm going to glue it up there with this hand. I think it looks really good. Well, out in the van, it's a lovely day. Parked up at Ibrook Reservoir and uh, decided to give it a run to test the new shock absorbers and the water tank fitting. The hose still hasn't come, doesn't matter so much. I'll put my wood spirit birthday present up in the van and it's all looking very nice. And we're having, I'm having um. Panini with Chris like a sandwich. Jane's doing the salad. We've got some cheese. And uh, there's a swan out there. Is it on a nest? I don't know. There's a lot of kerfuffle going on. Yeah. Yeah. They do build nests, don't they? Enormous things. And it's almost the bank holiday weekend and we thought there'd be loads of cars here and there's not a single one is there? Absolutely brilliant.